This is a small video I'm recording because I I thought it would be a nice way to share an excellent and also a little bit of personal story. First let me tell you the personal stuff. I have been, uh, you remember around last year this time I posted a video while cycling in US. After coming back to India I have resumed uh, going for walk and running and those kind of things. Recently again I thought, hey, would it be cool if I start cycling again because the summer in India is over and that tends to be pleasant at this time. So I started uh, cycling and today is actually one of my first longest trips. I have finished the first half which is 20 km and uh, hopefully I will be able to take the second half go home by time to take this. Now, uh, as you can see, I am I'm at the beach and I will show you the pictures of the beach shot a while later. But first let me tell you a very quick excerpt. If you are working with Excel charts, then uh, really sorry for the background noise because this is, uh, I, am, I am on the footpath on, on, on a busy street and there are lots of vehicles going around. Uh, okay, so you know how when you are making a chart, you would have some source data somewhere and you select the data and you make the chart, right? Now, you know that think of the source data. And the chart gets referred to. Let me give you an example. Let us say you are plotting sales data for a bunch of products for the last 12 months. So you have product A, B, C, D and you have plotted the sales data as a line chart, a bunch of lines or a bunch of columns. And uh, your boss suddenly says, hey, I don't want to see all the products. I just want to see product A and product B. So how do you do that? You cannot make another chart you, you, by deleting the data for B and C because after a while he might ask you uh, to show the data, data for B and C. So one quick way is to go back to the source data, filter out B and C and bingo, your chart gets updated only for A and B. So the way charts behave is they only display the data in the visible cell. Any cell is hidden because it is filtered out. It will not be shown on the charts. Of course, you can change this default behavior, but that's the uh, default behavior. I hope you enjoyed this one a bit. In a while I'll just show you our beautiful city, uh, the beach of uh, where I'm here. So here is our beach. Here is our beach. Uh, as you can see it's quite beautiful and uh, and really pretty to look at. Uh, and it's just 20 kilometers from my house, so probably I can cycle here once every week and enjoy this sight. Nah, I'm just kidding. We usually come here uh, by car and uh, take the kids uh, and come here uh, so they can actually play in the sand while me and Joe have some quiet time. And uh, this is also a nice place where uh, it's kind of busy now with lots of vehicles on the street, but uh, usually around the early morning time and uh, evening times, it's quite pleasant to come here, walk along, walk along this pathway while overlooking the beach. And uh, and here is my trusty companion for this ride, uh, my my cycle. And you can see the bag which contains some water bottles in the camera. So that's all. I hope you have enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye bye.